Lebanon. Lebanon. When wildfires ignite, we wonder who set them off. The wilderness and ashes made way for rough clashes, seeing truth through false lashes as the wall dividing us crashes. You see, they built these sects to fragment us, to separate us, to manipulate us. They created these boxes so we lose touch with our own humanity. So we forget so much the power of unity. So we use as a crutch the false identity that they give us. When we split, we become unfit to make our own choices. We stop raising our voices because we feel too small to be heard. And so they heard us and we follow their promises so hollow that we know not where we are being led, taking it as a given that wherever we go, we'll be well fed, well bed, well cared for, well. These shepherds are wolves in sheep's clothing. They instill distrust and loathing amongst the flock. And we flocked to vow allegiance because it worked. For decades, we saw each as an other, not a sister and brother, no, not even just Muslim or Christian. No, these men are pure villains, breaking us down into smaller fractions, fracturing us further forever like fractals. These jackals, they bark, lay the bait, and we bite. We agreed to their categories of Sunni, Druze, or Shiite, Orthodox, Atheist, or Maronite. When wildfires ignite, we wonder who set them off. Breaking news, despite $900 million annually spent, Lebanon has no steady electrical infrastructure and experiences about eight power cuts a day, leaving many of the population to rely on expensive private generators to get through the outages. But where did all our billions go? Well, I think I know. Whilst we curse the lack of current in our useless sockets, they have a stable supply of currency currently generating right into their pockets. Their private planes purchased with the people's pensions, profiting off political tensions. It seems worth it to mention that the greatest power cut Lebanon has ever had is when the politicians cut the power of the people. Well, this power outage? is an absolute outrage. Go on a rampage and rage against the machine. Rage, rage against the dying of the light and do not go gentle into that good night. In spite of the people in power, you the people must become empowered. This plight, this fight is a right for your rights. When wildfires ignite, we wonder who set them off.